Hello. Hello. Well, this brings back memories, <laughs> and not all of them good.、Uh, it has been three years since our church, that was meeting in all kinds of different places all over the northeast of Scotland, became one church in one place, and that one place was this table. And I mean, it was like 26 weeks. That was it. Just week after week, church at home around this table, and then we were able to move to the undisclosed location. <laughs>、uh, but with nevertheless, the with the seagulls, yeah, <laughs> it was 83 weeks before we were able to return to some kind of normality. And to, the truth is that if you'd have asked us then, will there still be a church after 83 weeks of restriction and constriction? We would have said no. That would be impossible. But Amazingly, Jesus continued to build His church. That's what He promised. He said, "I will build My church, and the gates of hell will not overcome it." And we are celebrating today, and we wanted to take a moment to celebrate because Jesus has continued to build His church. And now we're not just one church in one place anymore, but we're once again one church in many places. And we wanted to share with you a whole bunch of the things that the Lord is doing around the church, just to mark the moment. Absolutely, and the and the Lord, like Chuck said, is building His church, and we've got some really encouraging stories. Our church just feels like it is in a season where it's just teeming with life, and so we want to just share some encouragement with you.、Um, it's really blessed us, and we pray it blesses you as well. So, a young person in a Mern site, she had second degree burns on her arm, and she was. Scheduled for a skin graft at the hospital the following week,、uh, she got prayed for, and when she went to the hospital, they removed her bandages, and they cancelled the skin graft, and they just put two plasters on her arm instead. I mean, how miraculous is that? It is amazing, and actually, healing is something that is is happening all over、it、the is, church. You know, there was one young girl; she had a dream in the middle of the night. Uh, and she, she, she reported it to her parents the next day. She, she said, "I just saw us in the dream praying for healing during the service, and people getting healed." She's five or six. Yeah, and so、young. and so they decided, well, let's let's do that. And、yeah. so and so in the church service the following day, people stood up, all the adults stood up, and the kids went round and they prayed for all the adults to be healed. And there was one lady there who'd been struggling with a frozen shoulder for ages and ages, and it was instantaneously and immediately healed. How wonderful! So that's just a wee snapshot of what the Lord is doing in terms of healing in our church. But we know it's happening all across the sites, and it's happening within church, but it's also happening outside of church as well. And so, just encouraging you, keep on doing the stuff because the Lord is at work. He is. He is. So we've been saying for. Months now, God is doing something really special with our young people and our young adults, and we're just saying, Lord, please will you do it even more? It's crazy some of the stories that are coming out of it. It really is. So our youth, they all went on a weekend away, and、um, by all accounts, like the power of God just fell in that place. And sometimes it was like an hour and a half later that somebody would get up to to speak or to lead worship because the ministry that was happening was so unbelievably powerful.、Um, we're just again hearing stories of just our young people reading the Bible, just desperately hungry, hungry for God's word, ministering to one another in really deep and powerful ways. There was.、Um, A Danish vineyard that came over with their, some of their youth group because they'd heard what has started to happen here amongst our young people, and they brought them along. One night,、uh, some of our young people started ministering to them. They just waited on the Holy Spirit. Young people ministering to young people, and the Holy Spirit again just fell. And these young people, some were falling over, some were experiencing the Lord in really deep, profound. Ways, and what we've heard since is they've gone back, and the parents are saying to the youth leader, 
What have you done to my kids? They're completely different. They're desperate to serve in church. They want to pray for anything that moves. And um, they're telling their friends about Jesus. And we're just, we're just so encouraged by what God is doing in them and through them. And it's just wonderful. It is amazing. There, there were um, uh, loads of stories, that, or there have been loads of stories that we've heard of uh, young people coming to faith by themselves. Yeah without any interaction with anyone else. It's, it's really remarkable. And, and, and there was one young girl as well who uh, just found the church on Instagram. And as a result of finding the church on Instagram, message, would it be possible if I come to church? She comes to church. Uh, she, she comes to know Jesus. She's bringing her world to church. It's just an amazing, amazing thing. It's happening in the uh, youth group. It's happening with the young adults. Again, you know, what, one of the young adults uh, led his friend to the Lord. And then his friend then led his friend to the Lord. And we're just praying that his friend, friend, <laughs> friend leads his friend to the Lord. It's really, it's really brilliant. There was a, another young adult who... Uh, has been praying and just asking for the gift of tongues and then just met with the Lord and then spontaneously just begins to speak in tongues without even trying. Yeah. And we just want to encourage you to keep praying for them and uh, keep encouraging them as well, church, because God's on the move. Yeah. It is amazing what's been happening with the compassion ministry that happens all over the sites. And so uh, Open Door is a brand new thing that started at many of the sites, just an opportunity for people to come in and find friendship and uh, maybe get access to the help that they need or just have a cup of tea and a, a, a friendly chat. Mm -hmm. and, and it's just been lovely. And, and the whole dream was that people would come to that and then they would find their way into the kingdom in, in, and into church. And that exact thing has been happening. Uh, and, and Transform is just a remarkable thing with a remarkable team. And so they've been continuing to visit people in prisons. They've been continuing to give out tons and tons of food, continuing to help people with their debt, more and more people becoming debt free all the time. Uh, the uh, uh, open door that happens at Central has been brilliant. So about 80 people a week have been coming to have some food and that's been lovely in itself. But then 30 or so of them have been sticking around for a church service afterwards. And the Holy Spirit has been meeting with those people in such a beautiful way. And a number of them have come to faith and we're saying more Lord, more Lord. Let's talk about the Easter egg hunt. Oh man. Because what a phenomenon <laughs> the Easter egg hunt is becoming. Year after year it's building, more and more people are coming. So this year we uh, welcomed more than 1800 people to the Easter egg hunt and we gave away 17 and a half thousand Easter eggs to people in the community. <laughs> Loads of people couldn't believe it. They're like, why on earth are you giving this away for free? And we're like, because we love the community. We want to serve the community. And a whole bunch of people have connected with the church in a fresh way because of the Easter yeah. egg hunt. All across the church, there is a fresh hunger for each one of us to share our faith with our friends. And, and we've been praying, haven't we, on midday, every day, Lord, please will you fill me here? Would you use me here? Would you save the people around me? And it's amazing what the Lord's been doing. We have had the biggest Alpha course that we have ever had. Every site uh, bringing people to come to find out who Jesus is. Uh, and we've had over a hundred people on the most recent Alpha course. Incredible. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah indeed. And also Space to Talk, um, just hearing stories all the time about Space to Talk. But one in particular was that the team were praying before they went out and they, had, they saw a picture of a lady and she was wearing, I think it was like a black and white jacket. Anyway, they found that lady and they started to speak to her. And as they were speaking to her, the Holy Spirit prompted them to say, is there something that's happening with your house? And the lady was like, oh, yes, yes actually I'm having to sell my house because my son is moving out and she was going through a really um, difficult time and felt quite lonely and isolated and she had asked the Lord privately just between her and God to reveal himself to her and she felt that's exactly what he did as this encounter happened and um, this person was able to speak with her and to pray for her. So do you see what we mean? Do you see what we mean? 
You know, by all human wisdom, after 83 weeks of being unable to meet, there shouldn't be a catalyst vineyard anymore. But uh, Jesus had other ideas. He has been building his church. We truly are one church in many places, reaching our local communities and serving everyone we meet. And we are so thankful to God. Thank you, Jesus, for being so incredibly faithful to us. Yes and amen to that. Wonderful. Great to see you. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.